hi guys welcome back to a new vlog um it is actually my day to work from home telework but i had to run and get some groceries because i needed some groceries i needed to uh, pick up some couple things honestly it was really for nova's food but then i ended up buying other stuff as usual i'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys really quick what i got i went to trader joe's again hello i'm a trader joe's whore and giant um yeah let me see oh really quickly again my granite flax oil seed i am running below my probiotic i like getting this one when i can't get my other one which is by be clean nutrition i think i've mentioned it before in a previous vlog um my woman's once daily i'm gonna try this one i'm gonna try this one i've never tried that one these were interesting. I saw these super amazing reusable kitchen cloths. Replaces paper towels, super absorbent, washable, durable. So I think it comes with two, two in a pack, and it was really cheap. I got some little uh, snackies for Nova. I got some chia seeds um, to add to my protein shake. And then I got some stir fry. I thought this one was interesting because it comes with zucchini um, spirals. So this is, I'm assuming it's the zucchini spirals. And this is for meal prepping for the next week and stuff like that. Um, I also got a watermelon at uh, Trader Joe's. Other things I got at Trader Joe's. I'm going to try these Thai noodles, garlic sauce, and then a red curry one, I think. I don't know if this one, hopefully this is one, this one is spicy. It looks spicy. It doesn't say it's spicy, but yeah, um, I'm going to try this one. I think I'm going to try the red curry one. Um, I don't know why, but it feels like a lot of food. I'm probably just going to eat half of it because I do have some other meal prep food that I have. Um, I love mochi, you guys, but I'm going to try this Thai tea mochi. Um, I think it's coconut seed, like coconut based Thai tea filling. So I thought that was interesting. I need to put this in the fridge before it melts. And then you guys, I love these waffles. Like, I don't know, I was craving like waffles or some type of pancakes, but I absolutely love these specific waffles. I don't know, it's just like the texture of it tastes so good to me. Um, I like, I low key kind of want some right now, but I'll wait for another day. And I saw these, I don't know why, but this looks so good. It's green tea with pineapple juice. It's a sparkling soda and it's only 10 calories, you guys. So um, I think it only comes with four in a pack. I just got some to try some, but yeah, that's what I got from Trader Joe's. And then the essentials from Giant, my Dave spread because I was running low nova's little caesar food and then i also got some these i haven't used some of these in a long time but oh my gosh this one smells so good the bayside breeze i'm gonna put this in my car i really need to clean my car though honestly and then also an essential because i love using this for like a snack or in my oatmeal or with my rice cakes um some honey running low and then this is another thing that I was um, going for. I needed to buy some BioTrue contact solution. Um, I usually get the smaller ones, but I think I'm just gonna buy a big one because like it just runs out so quickly. So that's pretty much it. So here is my lunch. So I do have um, already meal prepped some ground chicken with some veggies. And I guess for some carbs, I'm gonna eat some of this red curry. Um, it is a spicy. It's really good. I feel like I can do, they had like added peas in here with the sauce. And I feel like, yeah, I could do without the peas there. <laughs> Since I already have um, greens here anyways. And then I'm drinking the coconut water that I got last time. It's so good and refreshing. So that's my lunch. I feel like this vlog is just going to be like things that I eat. Anyways, okay. The mochi's a little bit... I'm going to try the mochi. Wait, so it's a little bit like not frozen because mm -hmm. it legit tastes like Thai tea. Pretty good. 
Now, if you don't like Thai tea, then don't get this flavor. We are done with our meal prep for Thursday and Friday for work. Um, this is the zucchini veggie stir fry that I got from Trader Joe's. And then on the bottom, there is ground chicken. Um, I love these um, like glassware that I got. Like It's not too big, not too small. It's like perfect for meal prepping. And this is the lid that comes with it. Very secure. Um, just make sure that when you microwave and heat up your food, you don't heat it up with the lid because this part right here the little blue part is um like rubber so it's gonna get messed up if you put it in the microwave but yeah that's pretty much it okay hello hi guys okay so i want to show you guys some new brushes that i got these look these are the current brushes that i have um these are lip liners don't mind that but like um they're just really old and not very like high quality like this one's from when and wild um this one's like from elf this one is obviously not very like you know like very good quality this brush i don't i don't think i've ever really used that brush maybe i have actually but i just kind of want to amp up these brushes and just have more available brushes so you don't have to you know wash them literally every week and more brushes the better i guess for me um but let me show you guys i got some new brushes a six sigma had a their semi semi annual sale which like i think it's like 75 percent off so it was really cheap and like really good quality brushes um Sigma was actually the very first, like, makeup brush set that I ever got to, like, like, back in, like, 2012, I think. <laughs> so, um, always, um, this, I think this, I got this, like, like, two weeks ago when this happened. I don't remember. But, yeah, here I got a little cold here. <laughs> um, so they sent me a little sample of their magic, their brush shampoo. Um, to clean my brushes but let me show you guys what i got i guess i'm gonna start off with the big brushes so the this one is the f53 air contour brush now this one is a dual fiber one which i heard really good um reviews about um i don't know what this two-year warranty is that's actually pretty cool i need to look into that but yeah i got the f53 i'm excited to use this one and this other big one is the F57 Emphasis Contour um, Brush. I wish I can... Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. You see how it's kind of like flat there? So I got a contour brush. The other brushes that I got... I got this E35 Tapered Blending Brush. I got this foundation F60. I have something similar like this, but um, this one looks a lot better. High quality. I got this pencil one. Pencil E30. I got large shader E60. This one is a very proper one too. F70 concealer. It's like a really the concealer when you're trying to do like a cut crease this one's perfect for that and then i also got last but not least the e40 tapered blending this also is another popular one so yeah these are the new brushes that i can't wait to use i need to do a get ready with me you guys i've missed doing those videos but yeah. okay so i changed my sweater um i'm about to i just got off Signed off work, and I'm about to hit the gym. It is almost a 4 o'clock p.m. Um, it looks like it's going to thunderstorm. No, it was thunderstorming, so it's going to rain. I low-key wanted to go for a run later, but I don't think it's going to happen today. So, anyways, um, I don't think I've mentioned that I am back on taking pre-workout. I think I mentioned it like on my IG story, but not actually on my blogs. But yes, I am t back and taking pre-workout and it's helped me so f helped me do my workouts 
a lot better with more energy and if I have more energy I'm able to hit my workouts harder and more intensely if that makes sense and I have a better workout but anyways um I got into the oxy shred uh EHP labs it is so this literally tastes like candy the rainbow um rainbow candy it tastes like skittles is what I meant but I got this one um and then I mix it it came with like I bought like a bundle that was on sale and it was um I mixed the pre-workout with the L Cotitine. So these two. This one I'm actually running out. So I might buy some more. If not, I'll probably take a break from it. But I'm actually drinking my pre-workout right now. I'm almost done. And I also tried the blessed protein shake, which I'll show you guys later when I come back. But yeah, let's go. Alright, so I am back from the gym. I had a really good lower body leg sessions i train legs up three times out of the week so monday wednesdays and fridays and then tuesdays and thursdays are upper body days um but the first thing i like to do is you want to get into your protein and get them gains you guys the first time i tried this um i did like a review like a taste review on my instagram story and it was so good this legit tastes like a strawberry milkshake by blessed um plant vegan protein um like i said before i don't use whey protein but if you are like trying to gain weight like it's hard for you to gain weight then i definitely recommend using whey um just because the whey is a lot more denser um but yeah this is amazing i am almost out of it but you guys this is i've tried a lot of protein shakes and this is honestly the most like it's not chalky at all like in the in the, the flavor is amazing and you know sometimes when you shake up the protein powder and stuff um if you just set it and leave it alone all of the powder will like droop like drop down to the bottom and not this, like this blends so good, you guys. So one scoop is 23 grams of protein. So the way I like to make it, I know like people people like to do all these like, you know, add crazy stuff, like fruits and stuff. But I try to keep it pretty simple. Um, I forgot to show you, but I put like a quarter of water and then the rest is almond milk. Um, of course, add I added two ice cubes. And then this is my extra stuff that I like to do, a flaxseed, um, this flaxseed like little thing. And then I also like to do the flaxseed oil, which, and they, and I both get these from Trader Joe's, you guys, I think I showed you guys. And then I kind of lost the measurement, I kind of just eye, eyeball it. Add a little bit of that, this definitely makes your like shakes creamier so yeah um and then my almond milk so the rest i just add my almond milk and that's pretty much it and it is amazing i love the taste like i honestly ever since i tried the blessed protein like yes this is worth the money and all the hype like i actually enjoy coming back home and making my protein shake compared to other times and that's it you guys tastes amazing like i said your protein powders and your smoothies you can really customize it to your like own liking and stuff so <clears throat> okay so oh i'm just gonna prop you guys up right here um by the way this is like my natural like um hair texture i think the only thing i have pretty much on is like some hair oil like i said my hair is really dry so some hair oil just helps to keep it shiny um but yeah 
anyways i want to show you guys i got this huge package from old navy that had a lot of things on sale and old navy old navy honestly isn't like my going out type of style it's more like i buy clothes from old navy for work specifically um i wanted to get a lot um some more like cardigans and i think i got a couple shoes but yeah, Old Navy always has like a bomb ass sale, sales for real. Um, and it's very like comfortable clothing. Um, but yeah, so the first item I actually already opened it are these joggers. Now this, actually this isn't for work, but I got these because I thought they reminded me of some old joggers that I used to have from Forever 21, Forever 21 except they were um, darker gray. But yeah, it's like mid-rise joggers i got it in a size large they do look a little big but um they have pockets i like how this waist kind of just like you can like fold it you know what i mean and then the bottom is like super like skinny type of bottom it's not like you know flowy or out but these look really comfortable to like sleep in and just like lounge around in the house so i got those i think those probably were like ten dollars or something um, and then like I said, I got a bunch of cardigans just because I needed new cardigans. I think I only had like two or three and the other cardigans are just, they're cute. It's just the, um, they're too like thick. Like it's more for like winter type of cardigans, but these are so pretty. So I got this long one, very light brown, like nude color. Looks like that. Let me see if I can prop it up for you so I got that one you can tell the style and of course it has a pocket so this one's really nice I really like this one. Ooh, this one is so pretty I love the buttons on this it has like brown buttons and it's like a rip, like ripped type of material like knitted type of vibe and this one's kind of like you know comes more at the waist it doesn't go like doesn't cover your butt really but um, I got it in a medium tall because so it's not like a regular medium. It's like a medium tall for like taller people. I think taller people, I think it's like taller than five, seven. So I'm five, six. So I think this one's perfect. Um, yeah, I really love this one. This one's really cute. And then I think this one looks kind of similar to that one, except same type of yeah same type of style except it's like a yellow <coughs> sorry it's coming off like i don't know like a mustard yellow type of thing very pretty i don't know why but i love the buttons on it very cute and then i got a gray um cardigan now this one is very thin and it doesn't have buttons and it comes up to the waist so this one is actually one of the perfect ones for like summer and stuff so this one's really nice i probably should have gone for a large just because sometimes i like to, i do like to like cover my butt you know <laughs> but this one's fine it'll fit me i know for sure so and it's very light so it's like again it's perfect for summer because you know even though yes we're in the summer but like in the building it's like always cold or like you know how in school sometimes in, inside the classroom like it's always cold so yeah and then last but not least i got some shoes some hopefully these fit me but i got some like you know like for casual fridays we get to wear like jeans it's okay for wear to wear jeans and i just i don't want to wear like my vans because it just doesn't really look professional but i thought these were so cute from um old navy they look like vans though but they're not <laughs> um these shoes they're just like white shoes you know white yeah this can be a little uh risky risky because you know white gets dirty fast but let's see i feel like i probably won't be able to wear these just for like on the casual fridays so but i love the bottom like the the platform and that it's brown here so i thought these were cute so i got those and the second pair these again are 
I plan to wear this for work. Um, oh no, they sent me the wrong size. So I might have to return these. They sent me the wrong size. That's not good. So I'm probably gonna return these in, but oh, that sucks. But they were these shoes. I'm about to check the other shoes now. How do I know the size? Hold on. Okay, these are correct. I'm a size nine, I have big feet. So, but these is a size eight. <laughs> but how effing cute are these? I am obsessed. I love these. And these are like, per they look so comfortable. They're just like slide-ons, you see? How I would look. And they're like perfect height, not too high for work. Cause I feel like I'm already like semi pretty tall. Apparently for some people, but yeah. So I just love these, these look perfect for, I was tired of the, the other like little high heels that I have for work. I was just tired of those. So I wanted new ones, but I'm so bummed that they gave, they gave me the wrong size. I'm pretty sure I put size nine. So I'm gonna have to check that. That really sucks. Um, and it doesn't come with like any instructions or anything. So, but yeah guys, I just wanted to show you that and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. Um, so I took a shower, it was hair wash. I washed my hair. I guess you can kind of see the length of it. But anyways, I'm about to eat dinner. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. So since um, I had a little bit too many carbs with those um, pad thai noodles, um, I'm not going to have carbs for dinner. At least if it is carbs, it's going to be like fruit type of carbs. I'm probably going to eat a banana after this salad. So it's pretty much just grilled chicken and I kind of seasoned it to my own tastings um just spinach baby spinach and some green olives um you know really customize it to your own liking really um i'm using that trader joe's spicy cashew butter dressing this is pretty spicy i like it though i love add a little bit of lemon i might add some of this cauliflower dip i don't know and then i'm drinking these little drinks which is really good by the way um and then I have some green olives. I love green olives, you guys. Mm -mm -mm, so yummy. Um, if I had tomato, I would probably add some tomatoes in here. But this is my dinner. And like I said, I might have a banana and like a tea later. This is honestly the chicken is so good. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. I gotta feed Nobu. Mm. I wanna go see um Space Jam with LeBron James. Comes out this Friday. I might just go by myself. Like after work and stuff. Um or I don't know, debating whether to go Friday or Saturday. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you would like. If not, I'll see you guys till next time. <laughs>